Yes, loud and clear. Yes. Good. So, could someone call the So, hello everybody. We're here for our first uh, webinar about Visual G Forex. So, first we, you know, we're going to make an introduction. We're going to see all the features, how it works, how to get there, how to get support, etc. And then we will uh, let quite a quite interesting time for questions. So then you can ask more technical questions or just anything that is uh, relevant uh, to you. So let's start. Way. This is actually O, and of course it crashes immediately. That's great. It's the home page of uh, Lucas Copy, so I would have thought it was that uh, challenging. Let's try again. And here we launch Visual Forex. Just go to Forex Trading, Visual Forex, launch Visual Forex. And here we go. So you're sure to have always the latest, um, the latest version because it's an online tool. So you don't need to download it, you don't need to do anything like that. Just go to the relevant URL and it's here. So, um, as you might already know, Visual Forex is a tool that allows you to um, create strategies without, you know, hard coding uh, Java. So we are going to quickly go through the interface, interface and then we will uh, build a strategy using different blocks and then we will see how to use this uh, strategy. So everybody will have a clear view of how this thing works. So on the top right you see the logo. When you click on the logo you have the version and release date. The option is actually all already here. You can see the version from here. Then we have the drop down menus. Very classical. You go to file new to create a new strategy, open draft to open one. It's called strategy, but it's called draft, but it's actually a strategy or a draft strategy. Save your strategy and then import export. Basically, this is for strategies that are not stored on your Visual Forex um, cloud, but somewhere in your computer. That's the export. Export, same thing, you're going to export the, the file. You're going to export the, the file to your own uh, computer. While save, you're going to save it to your uh, GeForex cloud. We're going to com come back to that later. Then we have a uh, compiler, run, quite straightforward to run your strategy, build, we'll come back to that later, and contest to send your strategy directly to the strategy contest. Then help documentation will bring you to the documentation. Here you have the name of your strategy as we didn't um, create one yet. Then here we have variables and here the blocks. First here open, just do the same than here, save group we will come back to that um, later create a new variable we have a lot of variable here variables here and we have one called users variable so you, we can create one add notes this is a very interesting feature we will see how to use it and run strategy of course it's to test the strategy you've just created So here, 
variables you have a lot of them account it's everything about your account about the positions about all kind of trade events up and here about every single tick or every single candle there are default values but we will see we can change them and here are the blocks There are some predefined blocks like indicators. Strategies is actually your strategies that are stored that you might use in other strategies. And components, that's the one you might use the most. Logical, utilities, trading, quite, uh, quite straightforward, um, really. Now, we're going to create a strategy a very simple one nothing funky just to show what we want to do how it works so let's say um, I'm gonna set up a target which is 130 for euro dollar and to say if the price is above then I want to buy if the price is below then I want to sell and I want a little alert when I do that. You'll see it is very straightforward. So first we want to define the um, what is logical here and we want to define which um, pair we want to work with. So I drop here my box if I go to ticks, which are true, and I'm looking for tick asks, ask, and then we want to put the uh, euro dollar. So I'm going to take tick <coughs> instrument. So tick ask and here yeah, so you you don't have to point here, you know, you just can put it everywhere. If you like you can even color it. So if tick ask is equal to um, euro dollar, then that's that's what we want to uh -huh. up so if tick instrument ah up I'm sorry I'm gonna do it again if tick instrument is euro dollar so I have here all the instruments and I'm gonna choose euro dollar I could choose the just the default it's the default in instrument which is here so it's really your choice so if the tick instrument is euro dollar then we can start our strategy so we're gonna get another if so not equal equal up now if the price is superior to 130 so I type 1.30 then we have two choices either we buy either we we sell. So we're going to look here for trading and we're going to take open at market. That's more simple. Up. So if the price is less, we're going to sell. Up. If the price is more, we're going to buy. Up. It's a good practice to try not to and if it's the same well, let's say we're gonna buy alright so here you see all the input values are default ones default instrument default um, amount uh, default slippage etc I can change that of course here if I don't want I just click and instead of 0.01 I choose 0.05 and here same thing I can change everything I want 
And there is something interesting, which is output values. So here I can name the open a position. See, I just I just click on it, and I'm going to call, call that my position. It's a position, description, I don't really need that now. Save. So now there's a new user variable, we can see it here, called my position. Well, once that is done, because I don't want to, you know, the strategy run and run and run, I will stop it. So, <coughs> I choose stop strategy. And now let's go. Field, reject, no. Field, okay, yes. Up, and I take the same here. And that will stop my strategy. Before that, see if you click here, it's going to make the line disappear. Because before that, I want a little sound alert just because I, I like it. Up, up, and then it goes there. Settings, I want it to beep on testing. And I have different, uh, yeah, let's put, oh yeah. So here, I'm going to show you an interesting one. If you click on control and select here up these two blocks, you can right click, create group, and that's going to group the two if. Then here I can do the same thing. Up control, select, create group. Uh, up, up. Control, up, ah, I'm sorry, up, mm -hmm. here we go, that's it. So now we have groups, which is much more easier to work with, that's it. We always can expand the group to see what's inside can even delete it. <coughs> That's it. Our strategy is done. It's a very simple one. Buy or sell depending of the, um, on the price. Now we want to run the strategy to see, you know, how it would done. So I click on run strategy. Here I'm going to choose historical because real time will just wait. So. I choose historical and I can take any period, any range, even custom ones. Here it's just for the sake of the presentation, so I'm going to take last day. Here at uh, parameters. So if I want another default instrument, I can choose it here. If I want to change any default, I do it here. Otherwise, I run. So you you can see here it's preparing. I'm going to show you here, and we see the the chart uh, uh, appearing. Oh, did you hear this? Oh yeah, that means the position has opened. So and we can see actually the the position here. <coughs> That's the position that has opened. So we can close, and here we have all the statistics. How much we had at the beginning, what's the final ba balance, turnover, etc., etc. You have a lot of statistics to analyze your strategy. And the processing time is actually very, very quick. Position open, one, which makes sense because we we order the, the strategy to open only one. So here we go. I'm going to save this uh, strategy because I so I have here to and I log in into my account 
I'm gonna I'm gonna save it as um, let's say top strategy top winner and here we go our strategy is now saved now each time I want to open it open and I will find it here yep build it but it has been already build uh, actually so and if I go here I will found my strategies here top winner so I can import the strategy in my platform very easily that's it and the strategy is here and then I can run it so you see it's really damn easy when you have your strategy to test it to import it in your account etc etc very easy now let's say I want to actually put this um, this uh, strategy in the contest because I'm very proud of, of myself it's really good file no, compiler contest so and I'm uh, I'm going to call it my best strategy ever and I send it to contest added to contest successfully so now if I go to my account and why is it in French I don't know but so I'll log in let's go up And I'll do it again. Well, for whatever <laughs> reason, the computer that doesn't like me, so he doesn't want me to login this is really bad I'll try again sign in Okay, the the computer does doesn't like me today. What can I say? But uh, anyway, uh, if you go to the uh, contest to your own uh, to your own um, file to your own profile, you will see the strategies you have uploaded, and you can choose the strategy to to launch. It's it's that easy as long as the computer accepts you to log in which is make a last try it's just not the case for me obviously uh, 
Okay, fine. So, now I can sign in. So we're going to come back to Visual Forex. So you've seen basically all the... See, I'm logged in here. But so you've seen basically all the features and how it works. So see, it took me a few seconds to create the strategy. It can take much more to create a um, more elaborate one. But basically, the system is always the, the same. It's really, really, really simple. <coughs> and if you let's find here my strategies the one we've just created was called top winner and if you look that's the java code so that's what you would have to code by hand to get the same result So obviously, much more easy to just drag and drop um, modules, components, and var and variables. If you need uh, assistance, if you need to to speak with uh, people, then you can go to Forex Trading, Visual G Forex, and then you can access the forum. Here we go, I'm logged in. And you can here open uh, one, um, one topic on anything you want, how to close open position, just, just anything. It's actually more than a support board. It's really a forum when, where people can change their, uh, you know, exchange ideas, maybe optimize their um, the way they build their their strategies etc etc so you have let's take one example mm -hmm. so that's someone that is not sure about how to use um, the the time frames and how they work here is a good one someone who wants to just generate random numbers we don't have this feature yet but uh, it's uh, coming. As I said here, it's in the to-do list of the programmers. So you can request fe features here, report bugs, and you have here all the release of the nodes. What people use the most, of course, is the one called knowledge base, where they can share their, um, their ideas. So we have so far uh, basically four or five uh, people from the from the team from the visual forex team so do not hesitate to um, to to come here and post your questions and your uh, ideas are you going to do that the whole the whole uh, time or right so uh, just in case you miss that some some Portuguese team is going to play on, I don't know, UEFA stuff or, or, or something. Um, so, I think we've seen uh, all the features. I've shown you the, the, the forum. You, seen, you see now how this uh, thing works. It's actually damn easy and you can get all the support you, you want and exchange your ideas in the in the forum so that was the first uh, half an hour now we're gonna go for uh, questions i would like to know if anyone has uh, any questions uh, not related to a football um, any questions about uh, how this uh, thing works, about features, about just anything. You can type your questions on the um, chat section. And we have here uh, 
team members that will be more than happy to uh, answer. I see we have 36 euros online. So, any question? Um, so, we have two questions. That, uh, so, all functions are converted to Java. Be very, very careful with this uh, Java thing. It's um, if you if you're trying to use it uh, with another tool, it might or might not work. Probably it won't work. So this thing is really built to create strategies for um, Ducas Copies platforms. Other platforms might have their own way of using uh, Java. So you can try to copy paste the, the code. You can actually take the code. It's here. Um, hop. View source. It's coming. So you can actually take the, the code from here by, by viewing the, the source and paste it somewhere else. You can actually paste it directly to the G4X platform. That, of course, will work. Um, you can put it on a TXT file, I mean a Java file, and then open it from the G4X platform. Of course, that will work. And there is no, no guarantee about using it for, uh, for uh, something else. Um, can I save my strategy to my old local computers? That's what exactly file export does. So see, it creates a file with a VFS extension, which is a Visual Forex extension. So yes, you can actually save it in your uh, local computer. Save. Done. The source could pass into G4X or there is a risk of not working. No, it will definitely work on the G4X. We're actually going to try that if you want. Up. Copy. Now I open G4X. New strategy. Yeah. And I just paste. Control V. Way. And here we have our new our new strategy. Up. Yeah, just run. Way. And the strategy is running. We're going to stop it. So you, you, you can copy paste it into, G, into G4X. Uh, my screen sharing is just at the age of them. Um, how can I check my equity? Well, you very simply here have accounts and equity. So here you can create, a, let's create a new one, new, and I'll call it a very, you know, very relevant name. So you can actually create a logical and use the equity here as a, um, as a variable. With passenger, is faster backtesting possible? 
is faster backtesting possible? Well, if you well, you can or cannot uh, test it on um, on your platform. It's up to you. Um, you can just test it on the internal tool here. And we've just seen it. It took a few milliseconds. I mean, it, it was very, very, very quick to test the the, stra the strategy. Of course, if you take all the data for the last five years on five different pairs, then yeah, it might take a, li a little bit more. But you know, normally it should uh, it should be actually quite quite quick. So you don't have to go to the platform to do it. Uh, I don't know why I have questions by Skype. Um, I have a question about how to send the this thing to the live platform. Well, so far, um, Visual GeForex is still officially on beta testing. I mean, on beta version. So you cannot actually directly send your strategy to your live platform. But obviously you can do it just by copy pasting. You know, you as we just done, you view source, copy and then paste in your uh, in your live um, live platform. That's so run strategy in the in the east. Yes, let's go. That's always the kind of things, the kind of message you never see, except, of course, when you do the... Uh, so here you can actually create a strategy that... Was it leverage or equity, you asked me? So you can put equity here. So if equity goes, yes, I'm sure, goes below or above 5,000, then you can choose if it's equal to, less than, or greater than. And then you know, can have other stuff on. And then, or up. So yes, you you can uh, access the thing and then you choose your strategy, which is this one. And then you know, put all your um, put all your um, all your uh, precepts and run it. Yes, you can do it. No worries. This thing. So, la, la gente puede oír que, que decís. Eh. A ver. Any other, uh, any other uh, question? We still have a, a quarter of, of hour for uh, questions. Okay. Some people don't dare asking questions on the chat. They actually send me uh, messages on on Skype, so I uh, have a question about when uh, will it be released actually for live? You actually can use it already for live, but uh, we don't have an official date uh, of um, release yet. But we will obviously keep you informed. So we're going to come back here. Upla. We don't really can. Upla. To. You tick like that and it makes the link disappear. And you, you can actually trade on ticks, candles, or trade event. 
Um, can you show how to debug a, a variable? You actually... I've opened millions of things in my... Uh, but I mean, the, 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 the debug, uh, you shouldn't have any problems in, uh, in, uh, in variables, uh, even the ones you create yourself. By the way, you can create a new variable. So you give it the name, yeah. mm, my topi, poppy. Then you choose the kind of variable is it going to be position, signal, I mean you have just everything. Uh, and you can actually then use this uh, variable as the default one. Instrument, well obviously I'm going to create here one that already exists, but up. I'm going to say true so I can u use it all the time. And now file new, another very relevant name. So, so far. Now, if I take if, And here I have my own variable. I have another question that comes here. It's about languages. Um, okay, so the visual uh, forex itself will is in English and will stay in English. We have no plans now to localize it in any language. Uh, that is said, after that we, we can tell you that very quickly we will have uh, forums in uh, other languages, in uh, German, in French, Spanish. We have no release date uh, yet, but the technical solutions are here, the personnel is here, so we will be able to um, open forums and to support in several languages at least three, four. But the tool itself will stay in English so far. We have no plans to localize it anytime, uh, anytime soon. I told you I was going to show you how to... Uh, how to put notes, so I'm going to show you now, as soon as it opens. If you have any other questions, while we... So we're going to open the one we've just done. Up. So, add note. I'm going to put a note here. This block checks the pair and the price. Here it is. Actually, this is a very, very good practice if you want, uh, not only, but if you want to go to the forum. See, it's really interesting to have people, you know, they post their, their own strategies. And then if you have little notes, it always helps the, the other to, to check your uh, strategy.
So what what you want to actually uh, to do is to post like that your strategy and also to attach to attach the strategy itself. So for that you just export it. Yep. You just export it to your uh, computer, and in the forum, obviously you just attach the VFS file you have uh, created, so people can see it modify it and put it back in the forum with the right uh, code. Bruno, do you... Uh, wait. Do you have any winning strategies so far? Actually, I do, but I'm not authorized, obviously, to... Uh, to to push uh, anyone to use this strategy or uh, th this one. I've signed a paper, I'm not allowed to disclose anything. And uh, by the way, we will have uh, support in Italian also. I'm going to add another note. Open orders. And here, apply. I can minimize or maximize this window. Up. And I can, of course, delete my comment. I can remove it. Up, up. Any other uh, question? We still have uh, ten, 10 minutes. Okay, I have a question from the forum here. You see a little yellow, but you will see it better actually from here. You have a little yellow alert which is block requires full permissions. Basically, that means that you must have full permission on your computer to run successfully this uh, strategy. The idea is that uh, basically when you create a Java code, you can create a Java code that does anything. Delete your hard drive, uh, open your, your tray, uh, send emails on your behalf, take pictures from your uh, webcam and then post it on the internet. So, here we have something that makes a sound on your uh, computer. So, if you don't have the, the right to make this sound, then, of course, um, the strategy will not work fully. It's better for specific type strategies. Um, do you think that Visual Forex is better for specific type of strategies? If you're not a, um, a Java coder anyway, it will be better for all kinds of uh, strategies. Can I enlarge your screen sharing? I can't enlarge your screen sharing. Oh, that's a technical issue about... Uh, about the, the webinar itself so but I can no I can't let's see if I can maximize it no I can't uh, a little bit yeah but then we don't see any more the then it's cut it here so Good, yeah, that's the maximum we can get. Here you can zoom, navigate up, see, here we see all the components. That's useful really if you have like a massive, um, massive scan. Use your, 
little scrolling device on your here see I zoom in and I zoom out that's how easy as it gets and that's when you're lost and you want to go back to the natural state you just click on this little icon here up 100% zoom and you're back to delete the a component it's here remove block here I don't want the sound alert anymore I just click here up up and I have again my my strategy without the sound alert so strategy I will take my own strategy come on guess one to four could you actually log in so we can see your uh, name and whom, whom you are or just tell us whom, whom you are bon. that's always go again so here I just would like to point that the technical problems we we can see it actually comes from the fact that I'm doing millions of things in my com in my computer so it's fairly slow it's actually about to explode Up. So, any other uh, questions? Actually, we still have five uh, minutes. Anyway, if you have uh, more questions, you always can go to the to the forum, and you will be answered fairly quickly do not hesitate if you have any questions or want to, to, to share any idea to go to the forum and you will have a full answer to all your uh, all your questions can I use visual strategy? yes I've shown you how to use your uh, your uh, strategy um, in, in the contest you just go to file sorry compiler contest then you will load this uh, strategy in the strategies attached to your profile in in the context in the contest then you log in into the um, contest page and you will see the different strategies on your on your profile and you just activate the ones you want so not only you can do it but there is a tool compiler contest to send the strategy directly to the contest it's really 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 straightforward so usually I'm always late to uh, give back uh, this um, this wonderful tool today we're gonna be in time except if someone has another question
you see here the strategy I've just used is is going to be um, embedded in my new new strategy and then I can go back to something so here this except here the last uh, block was a strategy stop so when that's done we can put another logical if and then I could put for instance if uh, the if the position open here is a buy then do something else if it's a sell then do something else like close it or you know just just anything so you can I actually pour any kind of uh, of a of a strategy here and all your strategies all the strategies you have built are available here under my strategies yeah we still have uh, two minutes so I'm going to thank you all for um, joining us we will have later on on regular basis uh, webinars about the G4X but this time they will be more focused on some component or some way to to do something on on variables on more technical issues and then all the webinars are available on the YouTube uh, channel of uh, du of Ducascopy so you can watch them as much as you want also they will be all of available in a special part reserved to Visual Forex as the tutorials. Right, we will announce that uh, very, very soon now. So, I'm going to stop my screen the sharing and uh, say thank you to everyone for uh, joining us. And I hope we'll uh, see you soon for the next uh, webinars. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please log into the forum. Goodbye. Thank you, everybody.